Hey, Shadaj here. Magnets are very cool, right? The power to attract something from a very large distance without coming in contact just seems very unnatural. But in reality, it works on one of the most natural phenomena. So basically, what is a magnet? Take a charged particle, let's say an electron, which has some electric field associated with it. Why does it have some electric field? The answer is we don't know. We just know that it is there. It is its intrinsic property to have an electric field. So take an electron and move it around in a loop, and there you got your magnetic field. So an electron moving inside an atom will generate a magnetic field. But aren't we all are made up of atoms? So where is my magneto power? The answer is it depends on the arrangement of atoms. So in magnetic materials, atoms are arranged in such a manner that most of the north pole and most of the south pole are in the same direction. Hence, their overall magnetic field just adds up and create a strong magnetic field. In normal materials, like in us, the arrangement of atoms are not in such a way. Hence, no magneto power. So one of the most fundamental property of magnet is that it cannot contain a monopole. That is, you cannot separate. south pole from its north pole for example take a bar magnet break it into half and you will get two pairs of north and south pole break it further apart and you will get another two pairs of north pole and south pole and you can do it again and again and again until you reach to a single atom where our electron is revolving around the nucleus creating a magnetic field so if an electron is moving in clockwise direction it will generate a magnetic north pole and if it is moving in anti clockwise direction it will generate a magnetic south pole so if i am watching an electron moving in clockwise direction i will see a magnetic north pole but a person standing on the opposite side of the loop will see the very same electron moving in the anti clockwise direction hence he will see the magnetic south pole so we cannot separate the north pole and south pole from the electron it's just a paradox in fact maxwell's second equation also says that it is impossible to generate a magnetic monopole but michael faraday while proposing his idea of electricity and magnetism says that there is a very strong correspondence between electricity and magnetism they are just very symmetrical to each other just for one exception electron can have electric monopole and when we move it around then only we are able to get a magnetic field why does not the other way around that we have a fundamental particle which has some magnetic charge and when we move it around it creates an electric field it just shows some asymmetry to the system but in principle we can have such fundamental particle which can have magnetic monopole and when we are move it around it can create an electric field hence fulfilling our symmetry however scientists are trying to find that for past 50 years and they haven't found any so should we conclude that it is impossible to have magnetic monopole but i don't think you are watching this video so far just to hear this answer and don't get disappointed because few years ago some scientists generated a magnetic monopole inside a lab so they took a artificially created crystal known as spin ice which has atoms arranged in tetrahedron in such a way that each junction will have two north pole and two south pole thus no effect of magnetic field but by throwing a positron to it in a very cold temperature you can just flip one of the atom and hence you get your north and south pole and by manipulating those flip you can move those north and south pole further apart and there you got your magnetic monopole on top of that by moving those monopole you can create a phenomena known as magnetricity in analogy to electricity scientists are very optimistic regarding this magnetricity they think that they can solve the dead end problem of moore's law with this let me know in the comment section what you think about magnetricity and as always thank you for watching